Like video games, TV shows tend to take a lot longer to get through than films. Therefore, these will be showing up less frequently. Enjoy. Space Precinct, 1994, created by Gary Anderson, starring Ted Shackelford, Rob Youngblood, and Simone Bendix. Demeter City, 2040, the chronicles of a police station on a distant world, where humans work alongside extraterrestrials to uphold law and order. This series was part of what inspired me to start reviewing shows. Everything in the trailer looked incredible, and I was surprised I hadn't heard of it sooner. The show was created by Gary Anderson, whose impressive body of work includes Thunderbirds and Space 1999. For sanity's sake, I've introduced a five-episode rule, because any good show should be able to hook you within the first five episodes. How did this one fare? I'm happy to report that it was thoroughly enjoyable, making sticking with this one an easy decision. I'm amazed how well-written this series is. There's no growing pains. It was very much a fully developed product from the very beginning. It hits the ground running. One of the common complaints sci-fi shows get is that they're too dry or boring. This show is the opposite. The action is snappy and fast-paced. The cast really helped the series shine as well, with Shackelford and Youngblood delivering an enjoyable dynamic as a pair of straight-laced cops. Interestingly, the main cast consists of American actors in spite of being a British production. The show's sci-fi setting grants the viewer a world free of the cynical corruption cop shows tend to exhibit. Like Star Trek, idealistic optimism is the name of the game. The series is episodic, making it easy to pick up and watch in small doses. There's no overarching storyline to keep track of. The production design is top-notch. I was blown away by the set designs and the model work in particular. Being a cop show, the writers were given a variety of crimes to build stories on. Heists, kidnappings, assassinations, arson, murder, gang warfare, black market organ deals, alien invasion, plenty of variety, all given a sci-fi edge. The backstories each character gets in the episode they're featured in is unbelievably rich as well. These feel like self-contained mini-films. Another thing I liked about this series was the alien makeup. This isn't your subtle prosthetics blended into natural skin tone Star Trek fare. The aliens look extremely otherworldly, but look and act like any other characters you'd see on a cop show. The B-plots involving Detective Brogan's family and the two bumbling Creon officers can be a bit hokey at times, but they do serve as a good comic foil to the darker topics the series explores. Research revealed that this series' budget was about a million dollars an episode, which surprised me. When I think of million dollar shows, I think of Star Trek The Next Generation. This seems fairly modest in comparison. Sadly, this series fell victim to Western audiences and networks not knowing how to handle more outlandish programs. It was cancelled after one season. Those are my thoughts on this series. Hopefully you'll be able to figure out if this show is for you based on what I've said. I will always be on the hunt for more obscure sci-fi and horror shows. Feel free to leave a comment below with some suggestions and I'll try to track a copy down. Until next time, fellow couch potatoes.